What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button. And let's jump into this week's topics. First for this week, RC Four Wheel Drive released a new 2.2 tire. This one is the Michelin Cross Grip 2.2. Now, while it is a 2.2, it's only 4.75-ish inches tall, so basically the size of a normal larger 1.9 tire. So if you're looking for just a different look with around the same size tire, then here's an option that really doesn't have a lot of other tires in its class. Made of the same compound as most of RC four-wheel drives tires these days, it is licensed by Michelin with an actual tread pattern found on a actual full-size vehicle. If you're interested in these tires, I'll link to where you can see them in the description below, as well as links to the rest of today's stories. And for those of you that own the Red Cat 64, the chrome option parts are available in stores. And now you can find the rear axle, a bunch of the suspension parts. If you just want that truly chromed out low rider look like you may have seen on many low riders in the past then now you can buy these chrome plated plastic stock replacement parts i do believe that these were announced some time ago but i hadn't seen them become available until just recently so maybe some of you were looking for those and just waiting to see them pop up next the big news from the week element released the new Enduro Night Runner. This is very clearly a Toyota Tacoma. They released this, it's on the basically the exact same Enduro that we've seen underneath. It's still got the same uh, Stealth X transmission. It does have the IFS kit on it and it is running the longer 12.8 inch wheelbase versus the more standard 12.3. Now with that longer wheelbase, and the IFS, it's also running 155 tires, so a sub four inch tall tire on a newly released wheel. Wheels look pretty good, but again, 155. So you are going to have a longer wheelbase truck with IFS and a really small tire. So this is not going to be a performance oriented truck. It's gonna do okay, but the big reason for this truck was to sell the style of that Toyota Tacoma. Speaking of that, this Tacoma style body was designed by Knight Customs, thus the Knight Runner, K-N-I-G-H-T. Along with the Knight Customs collaboration, you will also find that Knight Customs now has a ton of parts that you can print yourself or buy printed from sources like Shapeways. But also included in the box are the rear bed rack and a injection molded rooftop tent, very similar to the 3D printable one that you could buy from the Knight Customs My Mini Factory. But now pre-done included in the Night Runner box. This does have a front molded bumper licensed by DeMello Offroad, a popular Toyota aftermarket supplier as well. And you'll find that that Toyota body is two pieces. It's a proper cab and bed setup. Overall though, just a great looking package. Very focused on the scale side, much less on the performance side, obviously. Now the Enduros still aren't coming with any sort of inner fenders or interiors still just haven't quite caught up in those areas to kind of finish these trucks off. The Night Runner is also now the most expensive Enduro that you can buy. This one's retailing at 429. Now, comparatively to some of the other models, the new Element Ecto comes in at 399. The Sendero HD, which was kind of the refresh of the original release, is only 375. The Gatekeeper and the Trail Runner are 399 currently. But with this release of the Night Runner, these are actually going to be available this week. These things are already here and going to be able to ship right away. So if you're interested in these, you can click the buy button and you'll actually have these trucks soon. A nice reprieve from those long waits after the initial releases to the actual ship date of vehicles. Last week, we talked about the release of the upcoming Mini D12 from WPL, kind of, not really, but the full details of that little truck came out. It is cheaper than the one tenth scale one, but not by much. $47 versus like 60 bucks. So only a little bit less, not nearly as detailed underneath, kind of a, it's definitely much more like toy grade. I think that D12 was just close enough on that edge to be a fun, cool little RC. The mini D12 though, it's definitely further from any sort of hobby grade RC level. Last week, Traxxas released a full line of paint. They released just uh, 23 different colors and like metal flakes and transparents, candies, standard colors, 
chrome backers. In typical Traxxas fashion, it's just a very complete line. And the seven most popular or most used colors, they're also offering in much larger cans. So you can get them in kind of a standard five ounce can, but you can also get them in a 13 and a half ounce can. So almost three times as much for like the black or white or silver or whatever colors painters use most often. The information released says that they have some special tips. They're ultra fast drying, which for impatient people like me sounds great. And it says that it's nitro fuel resistant, which I guess Traxxas still makes nitro cars. So important thing to put on their feature list. I already got some messages with photos of fully stocked displays showing up at hobby shops. So next time you're shopping for paint, you may see a completely new paint rack in your local hobby shop. Maybe it's worth a shot the next time you're painting a body. Next, some new hats like this one are in stock at Vanquish Products. You can now pick up these style hats, which are a mesh back with a snapback, but they're also a flex fit. So they fit people even if you have a big head like I do. They've got the rubberized patch sewn onto the front. These are available in two colors right now. And there will be another style coming soon, which you also would have seen in previous videos. But if you're looking to pick up a new hat with your next order or just right now, you can jump over to the Vanquish site. I've linked to it in the description below. Check out the new apparel. This week, Beef Tubes announced their new drag racing chassis called the Brisket Chassis. Falling right in line with the rest of the names in his lineup. This is specifically for the associated DR10 base. It's a mix of carbon fiber and machined aluminum with a red anodizing on it. It's kind of a single layer chassis design with some adjustable battery hold down positions. Not available just yet. Pricing also hasn't seemed to be announced. Looks like they're waiting on some final details and availability. Pre-orders may pop up. If you've been looking for a new drag chassis and you have an affinity for beef related names, check out Beef Tubes. I've linked to their Facebook in the description below so you don't have to risk trying to Google that. And speaking of drag racing, Biddy Designs has been teasing a new Camaro body. It appears to be the most recent body style of the Camaro. And at this point, it looks like it's going to be released on September 4th. So still a little ways before the full release of this body. If you haven't heard of Biddy Designs, they actually make a ton of different bodies. Most of them seem to be more focused on racing side. But with breaking into segments like No Prep, I'm sure that will help increase their name recognition outside of just that side of racing that they were doing previously. Once we see full details on this body from Biddy Designs, we'll circle back and give you all of the details. Last Wednesday, Matt from the Scale Builders Guild and myself kicked off the next season of the Budget Build-Off series. And this season, we're using the Axial SCX24. Now the budget build-offs, if you've never seen them before, basically we decide on a platform and we upgrade it every week on a set budget, 50 bucks a week. And in this case, even though the vehicle is smaller, no difference in the budget, 50 bucks a week, but we're doing a more condensed schedule. Eight weeks long is all that we're doing with a few special weeks in there. So it doesn't exactly go up to the full $400 in extras, but check that out. New episodes every Wednesday. You can check last week's out and the new episode will be dropping tomorrow if you're watching this on the day it comes out. And after you catch up watching the budget build, then on live stream takeover Wednesday evening, we're going to be having Jeff Johns on the live stream. If you're not familiar with who Jeff Johns is, he was the president and founder of Axial. He stayed with Axial through the original days, the Hobby Co and Horizon timeframes. After he left Axial and Horizon, he went and he was the president of Red Cat. And then after leaving Red Cat, he recently has started up a new venture called Rebel RC, which is partnering with Rebel Off-Road, the full-size Jeep manufacturer and from what it appears at this point from the website that they've set up, it appears that they're going to be mainly an online store for brands that they have worked with in the past. But we're going to catch up with him on Wednesday, get the full story about what's going on with the Rebel RC, and I'm sure talk about his history through the days, starting back with HPI, all the Axial days, Red Cat, and the present. So check in on that. Live stream starts at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So should be a good time. Look forward to seeing some of you guys there. But that's going to do it for this week's news topics. Last week's question we talked about when was the last time you were driving and there was a bunch of really interesting responses to that. This week, based on some of that, what do you actually spend the most time doing in this hobby? Is driving what you find to be the most enjoyable and you just basically work on the car when you 
have to, or it needs something, whatever it was from the last time you were driving it, or is working on it, just the part that you enjoy the most, either customizing or upgrading, building from scratch, building a new truck, whatever it may be. Let me know in the comments below. Always enjoy reading your guys' responses to what you enjoy most in the hobby. With that, thanks again for watching the Scale News Update every Tuesday. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.